Hello, uh, this is Andrew Cheng. I would like to present a video how to start your Kubemaster web services and API. Uh, the quickest way is just go this web page, which is presented uh, uh, the below of this video. If you go here, you're gonna see some steps, but this may need creating a new account and downloading some sample but I would recommend just go down a little bit and press this button which is JavaScript sample if you go to sandbox uh, this is a web pages to show how to um, provide a JSON file and then how to get the output file from QMaster Web Services. Um, the first thing is you have to authorize your um, credential. You are supposed to create a new free account and get your API key. But uh, if you don't want it, or if you want a quicker way, just provide this key. This is our um, presentation and demonstration key. And just press this OK button. And now you are good to go. So if you go to mix truck load sample by pressing uh, the first three items, the mixed trucks load sample. So this is a, a good sample to present how to build a truck load by providing some input file. So th this one, the left one is the request or input file. So this is include all the information you need to send to QMS API, which is title and description. So the title may be some strings or numbers to present your shipment and description will be um, another version of description uh, title or something order number something like that and then it has cargoes containers row so the cargoes may be the list of your product or items for the shipment so each cargo will have um, this set so each cargo, one cargo is included uh, just in one um, set of uh, array. So this is the list, cargo is the list. So you may want to put um, the items in, in the array. So in this cargo, it has five items in array. Uh, each item will have uh, the information of the name. So this may be the name of your cargo. That, that's going to be the SKU number or product number or product code. And then it may include the size of the cargo. That may be the shipping boxes or shipping pallet. Anyway, this is uh, the size of the cargo. Uh, this is um, inch. So this is 72 by 30 by 75 inches and then it has 1002.45 pound and then you may want to provide the orientation so just orientations all which means this cargo will be allowed to be placed in any direction in a truck and then we want to put the quality, which is 16. So that means the order of this item will be 16 pieces. So this is just one, one item over one order line. And then the second is very similar, but it will have a different item name or product code, and it will have the different sizes and different weight and then different quantity too. And then you may want to see, you may want to include more items. 
but sometimes you don't need to provide all the information just put the name and quantity and the others will be brought from QMS API as well as the other information like colors orientations too but um, all the information should be stored in the QMS server so that means uh, you need to go to QMS the website and provide all the information to store them and just just came back and put the name and quantity so the others will be done by QMS API okay and then the covers were placed and then the next will you um, the containers this is going to be the trucks information so which include the name of truck and yeah this is a 53 fifth intermodal and the type is dry so it just will have the dimensions so you may put the length and width height which is uh, inches too and then if you want to put some different color code uh, just put here this is color so if you know the color just provide um, like a natural name blue yellow red something like that or if you don't know just put the the color code so which can be obtained by some tools okay anyways uh, and then the other part is rule so that means you can put uh, some uh, options like uh, how to build the truck load in terms of stacking sequencing grouping the, 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 the filling direction something like that so in this sample um, this sample uses a very small settings which is I want to put some weight limitations by keeping true and then I don't want to uh, use the sequence of loading by play by giving false okay and then the other is field direction so I want to put the, the stacking in terms front to rear so QMS will place the covers in the front and then the others will be uh, placed um, to near to rear I mean I'm sorry so that's why we call front to rear but it, this is very regular and normal and then I wanna make the mixed load so that's why I placed mixed load at the calculation time so uh, we just provide uh, necessary information and just press this button sending request so this will send the input file to QMS server and then just we got the result which is output so it took just second, uh, 6 seconds and then we have the output file on the right side so please note this was built by QMS server from your input file so so this is a lot plan for your truck so we can see the status was succeed everything was good and then it tells some messages like okay you provided five covers and one empty container which was um, this one and then calculation started ended load built it, load built and the load saved to the cloud database and then and trivial errors because some covers were too small but um, please ignore it because we made a successful uh, return and then this part shows um, the summary of your loading plan so you provide the title description and it was they were included back and then it shows some the other information which was how much time taken and then who made it and when it was made and something like that 
and then this is a loading summary which shows how many pieces place total which was 68 so this is the total of your all the order all the, um, all the information so 1628 so if you sum up you're gonna make uh, 68 so that means Cumulus was able to place all the all the quantity in the load and then we have no nothing left and then if you go down you can see all the total volume load is like this one so this may be cubic inches so you may want to convert to the cubic feet or cubic meters and your size and then this is Field containers is the list of trucks filled by Qmaster. So, because we have just only one, you may want you may see just one item in the in this section. So the first one is uh, the only one, but it says it is number one fifty three feet in the model, and the sequence was number one. And then this is the load summary of that truck load, which shows sixty eight pieces loaded. And the volume was like this, and then the area was like this, and then it shows uh, the total weight loaded was uh, this much, and it shows the other information too. And then if you scroll down, we can see the other information like what was the loading side, and then what was the center of gravity. And I think this is zero because we didn't provide the necessary information for the weight okay so this sample um, is missing the weight of containers the weight of truck that's why we have a zero center of gravity and then it shows the size of your truck 53 trucks so we can just skip and then it, we can see the graphics of this truck load so this is 3d graphics so your your application is able to place this picture in your web website or web page so let's see how it looks like yes this the picture looks like this so this was saved and created on the server so your application will be able to use these pictures and then if you scroll down you're gonna see the list of load in the truck so let's take a look at it so we can see three items were placed in this truck and then the first one was sequence number one the loading sequence number one was this cargo and then the quantity of this cargo was 28 and then the next loading was this one sequence number two which was this cargo and then the, the amount of placement was 24 and then the last one was this item and then it was placed at 16 pieces so this telling us the truck load was built by uh, three different steps which was this one was the first and the second and the third and then we can see a beautiful report for this truck load so let's see how it looks like So we can tell uh, how the truck load uh, built. So if you go here, so we can see exactly the same information what uh, we have seen in the output file. It tells three items, which is 28, 24, 16. So this report was created in the server automatically so you, your application will be able to host this report in your uh, web page okay and then 
uh, there are many more informations like this this is more um, this is a, a the other report which can be used in your website too so let's see okay, this may be very interesting this is loading instruction which is step by step um, report how to build a throw load so you can see the, the step number so if you follow uh, the step steps step numbers the trucks will be built and then of course this can be printed on uh, the website or okay this um, okay so this is a um, very quick uh, demonstration of how to consume QMS API by a uh, uh, shared API key but you may want to create your account and get a new API key because you don't wanna uh, share your information with the other uh, public users Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.